Wanna clamp wood? Why not Zoidberg? <laughs> out in my backyard right now where you can see behind me <laughs> a tree fell on our garage oh my goodness gracious um, it happened a few days ago uh, it's the weekend now so that's something we're dealing with it was I don't know if you can see there behind me it was the neighbor's tree so that makes things a little bit trickier but let me tell you what we're about to do today <clears throat> excuse me I've got some allergies going on oh it's flipped over um, here behind me is a porch swing uh, Danny and I were gonna head over to a friend's house and make another one of these with his tools um, Let me see if I can flip this over and show you what it looks like the like the proper way Here I am sitting in the awesome porch swing Danny and I made this one a few years ago um, with my dad's help. He taught me how to do it um, Growing up my dad always made swings like this um, But we don't have the tools needed to make something like this so that's why we're headed to our friend's house because he's got everything we need and the reason we're making this swing is because where I work um, we're doing a fundraiser and it's a silent auction and so I have decided to make a swing and donate it to the silent auction in the hopes that we raise a lot of money we're headed to our favorite home improvement store to get the lumber that we need can you guess where we are there you guys for me <laughs> no, you, know you, you clearly know where we are. You drove here. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we love Lowe's. We're, I don't think we were ever a Home Depot family. We've always been a Lowe's family. So we're going to get some lumber and some chains. Anything else, Danny? Nuts and bolts and screws. Nuts and bolts and screws. Hardware. Good times. I love it at Lowe's. Oh my god, they put all the fun stuff right up front so you get sidetracked. As soon as you walk in. I love these. These are like harvest angels. They're humongous and they're a little pricey so they're 60 bucks so maybe I'll come back. I don't know. After Thanksgiving would they be half price? I always like to buy stuff half price. But these are really cool. We've got all our hardware down there on the cart that we need. And we are at the lumber pile. We're just trying to remember how many boards to get. Oh, look at Danny, like a pro. He looked down that to see if it was straight. Let's see if he does it to the next one. I'm pretty sure you can hear me. Mm, that one must have been bad. Oh, that one must have been bad too. We have a winner! <laughs> okay, I'm gonna stop because that's gonna get annoying real quick. <laughs> Alright, so that's how much it costs to make a swing. There's Danny. Look at me, I'm carrying wood! <laughs> I'm actually, I think I'm doing a bad job. So these are the slats that are going to make up the swing, like the seat in the back. And then what we're going to do is we're going to feed them through the planer to make them the size that we want and to make them nice and smooth. So what we have here, um, this grouping and this grouping, these are um, the joists for the back and the seat of the swing. 
And so it's really important that all of these are exactly the same. And as you can see, they're not the same. So what we do, you know, this is anticipated. Um, so you, you get these grips, you stick them all together, and then you use a belt sander until they're all the same. <laughs> Are you being cold? So there's this pile that he's still working on. And over here is the pile that he's finished already. I sanded these so they're all smooth and together. And I also sanded these on the sander outside that I already showed you with the clamps. With the Goldberg clamps. We've got all the seats lined up, all the backs lined up. And you can see the spine of the swing. It's really starting to come together. It's gonna to look cool now. The, so the swing's almost 100% finished. Um, there's just a few little things we have to do and it has to do with support. Um, so over here on the handle, we have to, um, we have to get this anchored down. And, and then on the back, at all four of these places where the bottom and the back connect, they're gonna get um, a big bolt right through here uh, to help support all the weight. And then the rest of it is just like little, little bitty fixes. Um, we're gonna go through right here and use a router because this is where your legs are gonna be. You don't wanna pinch your legs. And then there's a few places where you need to sand. But other than that, we've got an almost 100% complete swing. We've got a puppy who likes to help with things. And we've got a Danny who's already sweating. And we just started. Guess where we are. I mean, this should look really familiar to you. We are going back to Lowe's because we forgot. No, no, we didn't forget. We got the wrong size carriage bolt. Like how embarrassing is that? Like. And my carriage bolt was not long enough. It's really coming together now. So here's the one we're copying off of. We've got it laying on the ground. And here's the new one. We've just kind of got it hanging pretty high in our swing frame. And we're working on getting those correct size carriage bolts in that hole and in that hole. This is looking really good. I'm going to give you guys an update. Uh, the silent auction is tomorrow, so I'm going to see how much it goes for and then I'm going to let you know because that's going to be really satisfying. I, at least I hope so. Oh, thank goodness. It fits in the Prius. It rained all day today and it's going to rain tomorrow, so thank goodness we can take it in the Prius. So the silent auction's over now. And I'm really excited because one of the executive directors won the bid on it. Like, how awesome is that? That means, like, the high-up people think that my swing was awesome. <laughs>
Um, it ended up going for $150, which is amazing. You saw how much it cost. It was just cost us $92 in material. So, you know, we did earn some. I also wanted to show you what auction I won, and that is um, this reclaimed lumber. It is a like a coat rack, and then also a shelf. It's upside down because it's a shelf. Thanks for sticking with me. You know what to do.